It seems that these days we're always chasing something, be it a promotion, a new car, or a significant other in our lives. Social media is full of people who seem to have just what we want and appear happy and contented with life. This leads us to believe that when blank happens, I'll finally be happy. And while these major events do make us happy at first, research shows that happiness doesn't last. Lottery winners who had recently won large sums were measured against regular people and researchers were surprised to discover that the happiness ratings of both groups were practically identical. The truth is that happiness is synthetic. You either create it or you don't. Happiness that lasts is earned through your habits. So supremely happy people have honed habits that maintain their happiness day in and day out. Now I've collected 10 of these habits to share with you today. I'm Pete Can, the laughter man, and I'm a certified laughter coach. A couple of years ago, I discovered the powerful benefits of laughter, and since then, I've never been happier. I've dedicated this channel to all things happy, healthy, and laughter, so I can pass on those benefits to people just like you. So let's find out about the 10 habits of supremely happy people. One, they slow down to appreciate life's little pleasures. As humans, we are creatures of habit, which means we often fall into routines, which mean we don't appreciate the little things in life. Happy people know how important it is to enjoy the taste of their meal, revel in the amazing conversation that they had, or even just step outside to take a breath of fresh air. Number two, they exercise. Getting your body moving as little as 10 minutes releases GABA, a neurotransmitter that makes your brain feel soothed and keep you in control of your impulses. Happy people schedule regular exercise and follow through on it because they know it makes them feel amazing. Number three, they spend money on each other. Believe it or not, spending money on other people actually makes you feel better than spending on yourself. And this is especially true of small things that show you made effort, like buying a book for a friend that you know that they will like. Number four, they surround themselves with the right people. Surrounding yourself with people builds confidence, stimulates creativity, and it's great fun. The flip side of this is that if you spend time with negative people, they bring you down to their level. So get with the positive and ignore the negative. There's just something about negative people that can't help but try and drag you down. If you know someone like that, drop me a comment below. Just don't use their name as it'll give them another excuse to be negative. Number five, they stay positive. Bad things happen to us all, even happy people, but the trick is reflecting on what we've got to be happy about rather than complaining about how things could have been. Happy people just go on with things rather than wallowing in pessimism. The thing is, the more you think and expect bad things, the more you're likely to keep the bad things coming right at you. Instead, force yourself to look at the facts and you'll see that things are not nearly as bad as they seem. Number six, they get enough sleep. When you sleep, your brain literally recharges, removing toxic proteins that accumulate during the day. This ensures that you wake up alert and clear-headed. Your energy, attention and memory are all reduced when you don't get enough quality sleep. Happy people make sleep a priority because it makes them feel great and they know how rubbish they feel when they're sleep deprived. Number seven, they have deep conversations. Happy people avoid gossip, small talk, and judging others. Instead, they focus on meaningful conversations. They engage with other people on a deeper level because they know that doing so feels good, builds an emotional connection, and is an interesting way to learn new things. Okay, so we've got three habits of happy people to go. If you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful, why not subscribe to my channel? I've got loads of stuff on the huge amount of positivity that laughter and happiness can bring to your life and lives of people around you. Okay, on to habit number eight of supremely happy people. They help others. Taking the time to help not only makes them happy, but it also makes you happy. Helping other people gives you a surge of oxytocin, serotonin, and dopamine, all of which create good feelings. As long as you make certain that you aren't overcommitting yourself, helping others is sure to have a positive influence on your mood. Number nine, they make an effort to be happy. No one wakes up happy every day. It's just that supremely happy people know they have to work at being happy. They know how easy it is to get sucked into a routine where you don't monitor your emotions or try to be happy and positive. Happy people constantly evaluate their moods and make decisions with their happiness in mind. 
Number 10, they have a growth mindset. People with a growth mindset believe that they can improve with effort. This makes them happier because they are better at handling difficulties. They also outperform those with a fixed mindset because they embrace challenges, treating them as opportunities to learn something new. So there you have it, the 10 habits of supremely happy people. I found happiness, so remember, if Pete can, you can. All right. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. One take. Done.